Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Tony, and as I promised, I would do a few follow-up videos on how to install themes and tweaks onto your jailbroken iOS 11 device. Now, if you have yet to jailbreak and your device is running iOS 11 to 11.1.2, go ahead and check out my last video on how to install the Electra jailbreak utility. This jailbreak is, however, for all 64-bit devices running iOS 11 to 11.1.2, including the brand new iPhone 10, which I have running the Electra jailbreak break with themes and tweaks installed right here. So for this first video, I'm going to focus on how to install themes, as that is by far the easier thing to do, but I will have yet another follow-up video on how to install tweaks as well. So in order to install themes on your jailbroken iOS device, you will need a few things. One, you will need a computer running Mac OS or Windows. With Mac, you will need a way to unzip .deb files. For that, I'm using the program called The Unarchiver, and it's a free download. On Windows, you will need WinRAR and 7-Zip. And you will also need an SSH client on your computer. For Mac, I'm using Cyberduck. And for Windows, you can actually use one that is built into Windows 10. Secondly, you will need an older jailbroken device running an iteration of iOS 9 or 10, or just one that has access and supports Cydia. If you don't have access to a jailbroken device, you will need to get creative and find a way on the internet to download the .deb install file of the theme you intend to use. And very lastly, you will obviously need a device jailbroken on iOS 11 to install the downloaded themes onto. So this process is pretty lengthy and complicated, but if you follow the instructions in this video, you should be able to successfully download and install themes onto your jailbroken device. That being said, this can be a risky process if done incorrectly, and it can crash your device forcing you into a restore if you say add or delete something in the wrong place on accident. So with that being said, do this at your own risk. So here's just a quick outline of what the process is going to look like. First, we're going to connect to our other jailbroken device via SSH. We're going to download a package in Cydia of a theme. We're going to then copy that package via the SSH client on our computer to the desktop on our computer. We're then going to extract and unzip that package and get it ready to install on our jailbroken iOS 11 device. Then lastly, we're going to SSH to our iOS 11 device, manually install the package, respring the device and then apply the theme in anemone. So if you guys have already downloaded the .deb file you intend to use, go ahead and skip forward in this video for everyone else. I'm going to show you how to extract that install package from Cydia via SSH and drag it onto your computer to get ready to install on your iOS 11 device. So starting with our older device, I have my iPhone 6 running iOS 10.2 right here, and the only thing you're going to have to install in Cydia is OpenSSH, so we can SSH from our computer to the iPhone. Now if you're using something like the Yalu jailbreak or the Goblin jailbreak for 10.3 to 10.3.3 that just came out, you're going to have to do an extra step, as the SSH capabilities over Wi-Fi have been disabled by default on these jailbreak utilities. So in order to enable SSH, aside from downloading OpenSSH, just do a quick Google search on how to enable that feature, depending on which jailbreak you're using. Anyway, once SSH is enabled to connect to the device from the computer is not very hard. So on my Mac here, we're going to open up Cyberduck, and then in the top left, we're going to click Open Connection. Now when this dialog box appears at the top, you're going to scroll down to SFTP, SSH File Transfer Protocol, and click that. For the server, you're going to input the IP address of your iPhone. Now on your iPhone, if you go into the settings app, navigate to Wi-Fi, and then click onto the Wi-Fi network that you're connected to, it will display the IP address. And that is one thing I forgot to note so far in this video, is your computer and your iPhone have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Anyway, once you have the IP address, you're just going to input that into the server name. We're going to use port 22. The username by default is root, and the default password is alpine. And just as a quick heads up, if you guys intend to use your jailbroken device out in public, I would highly suggest to change this default password from alpine to something else. As everyone knows, it's common knowledge that the default username and password is root and alpine. And if you're out in public and connecting to unsecured networks, then anybody with your IP address could get into your phone and see all of its files and mess up your device, basically. Anyway. Once we have all this information, the server, the port, the username, and the password inputted, simply click connect, and this will now connect to your older jailbroken device. Again, this is connecting to my iPhone 6 that's jailbroken on iOS 10.2. 
So once we are connected to our device, we're going to use the top drop down menu and navigate to the root of the file system. And then from here, we're going to navigate to private, var, mobile, library, caches, and then com.suric.cydia and then to archives. And this basically is your temporary download storage. This is where Cydia downloads the .deb install files temporarily while it installs it to your device. So that is where we want to look to get the DEB files. But as you can see, there are no current DEB files because we haven't gone into Cydia yet to download them. I'm just setting this up in advance. So once we go into Cydia and download it, we're good to go. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install three themes, and the themes I chose are Lotus, Milkshake, and Oyster. And so essentially, when you go into Cydia, you're going to go ahead and hit the search icon and then search these three themes. And just so I can do it all in one fell swoop, I'm going to click install and then click the continue queuing button so I can go queue up another theme. Anyway, now that they are all queued up, I can just go to my queue now and click confirm to begin the installation process. Now you will have to install this on your older jailbroken device so it can re-download all three of the themes to it. Anyway, once the themes have been downloaded to your older device, don't do anything. Do not hit return to Cydia. Just go ahead and place your device on the table and we're going to head back to the computer. So once we're back in Cyberduck, all we have to do is click the refresh button and you can see the three DEB files are right there. They have been downloaded to this temporary storage area. We can easily click and then drag them to our desktop, allow the transfer, and it would begin copying the files to our desktop. So once the transfer is complete, this is where we're going to go ahead and open up these deb files and you will need the unarchiver for Mac to unzip these files. Anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and unzip them to the desktop. For this example, I'm just going to do them individually one by one. So starting with Oyster, when you open it up, there's going to be three files contained in the folder. You can go ahead and delete these two as we won't need them. The only one we are concerned with is this data file. Then we're going to go ahead and open that up within the unarchiver again and unzip this file. It will bring you to the data folder. You're just going to navigate all the way to themes. And here are the files that contain the actual theme. So I'm just going to create a new folder on the desktop, name it Oyster, and then drag these two files into that folder just so everything is neat and organized. Then you can go ahead and delete everything else related to Oyster, and then essentially repeat this process two more times with the other two themes or however many themes you are going to install install. Anyway, once you have completed that process, we can go ahead and head back to Cyberduck and disconnect from our old jailbroken iPhone. So I'm disconnecting from my iPhone 6 and I'm going to open a new connection to my iPhone 10 that's jailbroken on iOS 11. So again, just look up the IP address in the settings app and all the other settings will remain the same. And with the Electra jailbreak, you don't have to install anything else as SSH comes pre-installed. So now we're going to navigate to the root of the file system once more, navigate to bootstrap, and then navigate to library, and finally we're going to navigate to the themes folder, and I'm just going to ticker it open just so we can see everything that's going on. So now all you have to do is open up one of the folders on your desktop and drag all of its contents of the theme to the themes folder in the SSH client. So that is why earlier I went ahead and downloaded three themes at once, as it makes this step really easy to just simply drag and drop all three themes in at once. So we have a couple options to choose from once we are back on our iPhone 10 running iOS 11. So I'm just going to go ahead and let these files copy over to my jailbroken device and I will be right back. So once the transfer completes, you should see the list refresh and have all the themes installed. Now all we have to do is open up a terminal window, enter your password, which is again Alpine, and then we're going to type kill all negative nine and then springboard and S and B and springboard are capitalized. And once that is in, all you have to do is click enter to run the command. And once you run the command, you will notice that your iPhone 10 or whatever device you're using to install themes on, it will respring. So that is it. That is how the themes are installed. The last thing we have to do is apply and enable the themes. So now we're going to head into Anemone 
And once that is loaded up, you will see all the files that we just copied over through the SSH client will now show up on your phone. And here they all are. Right now I have the Lotus theme installed, but I'm going to go ahead and change it to Oyster just by deselecting all the Lotus ones and selecting the two Oyster ones. And then lastly, I'm going to click Preview and then click Apply. And when your device resprings and you enter the home screen, you will now see that the Oyster theme is active. Anyway guys, that is how you install themes on your jailbroken iOS 11 device running the Electro Jailbreak. As you guys can see, it's not quite as simple as entering Cydia and installing a theme, but I just wanted to make this video to prove to you guys that you can install themes. And of course, as you guys can see, I'm currently running some tweaks that are currently supported as well. So this works for both tweaks and themes, and I will have a follow-up video coming very soon of how to do tweaks. It's just slightly different. There's a few more files involved. It just can be a little bit more risky as tweaks can crash your device and force it into safe mode. And sometimes it can even crash the safe mode. Anyway, in regards to installing themes, this is a little bit safer and more straightforward of a process, but it still can have its risks. Just be careful when you are in Cyberduck and you are connecting to your phone to not accidentally delete something or mistakenly copy a file to the wrong location, as you could very easily crash your device if you're messing with the wrong files, as you do have access to the entire operating system and everything that's running on the iPhone. So if you're not careful, you could delete something that you're not meant to, and that could crash your device, forcing you into a restore, and you would now be restoring to iOS 11.2 or above, which is not compatible with the Electra jailbreak. Anyway guys, be careful and do this at your own risk. I hope today's video helped you out, and if it did, please subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up. Anyway guys, big shout out to Coolstar as well. His Electra developer jailbreak is absolutely incredible, and the alternative mobile substrate that he has implemented is absolutely fantastic as well to get some tweaks and themes running, and I really haven't had any stability errors. I haven't had my phone crash on me at all really through this and again I am using beta 5 which at the time of recording this video is the latest beta anyway guys thank you so much for watching today's video I really appreciate the support again stay tuned as I will be releasing a how-to tutorial on how to install tweaks here in the near future so keep a lookout for that but until next time this is Tony signing out